Well, if you're eyeballing the day, this is certainly one of the races you would have marked on men's 200 IM. As you take a look at our MVP standings, right now the top three athletes represent the LA Current. They've won five events. Toronto, they've won two events. And Ryan Murphy leading the way after his big jackpot in the 200 backstroke earlier. But we turn our attention now to the men's 200 IM. We have the winners from the first two weeks in Andrew Seliscar, Philip Hines, but the newcomer for the Toronto Frog Kings very well may be one to watch. Yeah, one of the most popular swimmers in the world today, certainly one of the most popular in Japan, Kosuke Hagino up there in lane number two, the Japanese record holder, second fastest of all time, 150.4. His best time, almost a second and a half better than anybody else in this field. What kind of shape he's in. He had a great start at their Japan Nationals last week, but uh, comes in with quite a bit of competition here with Seliscar right there. And as you said, Heinz, both winners the first weekend. Yes, yeah, Seliscar's won this event three times. Philip Heinz won this race a week ago in match number two, but Hagino down at the bottom in lane number two. And this is a guy, Rowdy, that won the 400 IM, silver in the 200 IM in Rio 2016, and that's pretty unbelievable to have that type of range. Yeah, he's got great range, and he has a tremendous back and freeze. So his long axis strokes is really something to look for. He's, he's got a beautiful backstroke, a world-class 200 freestyler. In fact, he picked up the silver medal in the 13 World Championships in the 400 freestyle. So this guy has been there so many different times for Japan. Had a rough year last year, no question about it. 2019 was not a, a good year for Hagino, but has bounced back supposedly from what I understand and from everybody I've talked to, he's bounced back in a big way here in 2020. Although we don't really know much about 2020, he's been training well. But look at that backstroke leg. Yeah. Hagino builds pretty big lead over Seliscar and his teammate Honda. Here they come, they're trying to track him down on the breast of Boss on the inside along with Andrew Seliscar. Hagino was 27-5 on that split, about seven tenths of a second ahead of Seliscar. Now this is where Seliscar excels in the breaststroke. Hagino over the last couple years has gotten much better though in the breaststroke. And you can see the two LA Current guys kind of hanging in there with Hagino. Hagino, a great freestyle coming up though. One second the lead for Hagino over Seliscar and Boss as they turn their attention to free. Seliscar trying to track him down trying to get the sixth win of match number three. Tokyo and Hagino trying to get their second match win. And Hagino, can he hold him off? It sure looks like Hagino's gonna be able to hold him off. Hagino with a great backstroke leg gets the win for the Frog Kings. And look who we talked about. <laughs> look at the triple that came up. One, two, three, right there. Hagino, Seliscar, and of course, Heinz. Not a great time. 153 flat for Hagino. Believe it or not, Seliscar and Heinz both went faster the first weekend. That's a bit unusual to see them come back a little bit. And, and, and that shows you, see Hagino going from back to breast on that turn. It kind of shows you the, the metal that Hagino brings to this race. I, there's no way they, they fear this guy, but this guy has got a lot of hardware and maybe they were swimming off of him and instead of swimming their own race, but you can see Celis start, starting to track him down a little bit. But Hagino built that huge lead on that backstroke and was not going to be denied on the end. All right, big time race for the Tokyo Frog Kings. Hagino and Honda, 15 points total. And as they shift, Tokyo holding at second, LA first, in the lead with 130.